Well, hello everybody and welcome to This War of Mine. And in this game, you play as a civilian in a war-torn city to try to survive. Let's get to surviving. Now, I've seen a little bit of this game, not too much. So, a lot of this is going to be new. Day one, welcome to hell. Okay, this place does not look too nice. There's a big hole in the back of my house. Uh, am I this guy? Wait, there's three of them. There's three people here. Okay. Uh, there must be a story because I can't hit anything right now. Okay, here we go. How long has the siege lasted? It's hard to say when every day is a struggle for survival. The city is crawling with snipers, shelling his ordinary business almost every night. Phones don't work, there's a shortage of food and meds, and many people are left homeless. Bruno and Marco have always been good friends, so when the war broke out, they decided to stick together. They met Pavel, who was scavenging for supplies. Or while scavenging for supplies, he used to be a Pogren star football player. Now he's just another homeless victim of the war. So they teamed up, hoping for the best. So it looks like I got Bruno, Marco, and Pavel to win here. Pavel's a fast runner, it says. Bruno is a good cook, and he's slightly sick. And Marco is a skilled scavenger and slightly wounded. <laughs> skilled, uh, I don't know how to move. Oh, I gotta click on stuff to move. What is this? Let's see if we can do anything useful, if there's anything useful left here. Okay. So, can I send multiple people to go, like, scavenge things? Oh, you need something to pry this lock open. He's gonna go over here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Raw food. It's edible, but it'd be no more nutritious when cooked. Let's, uh... I'm just gonna grab everything for now. And exit. He's sitting in a chair for whatever reason. He's gonna go over there. He should get upstairs and go search that. And... Uh, you found herbs. Various herbs that can be made into herbal medicines and rolled up cigarettes. So I got herbs and some materials. Again, we're gonna grab all. Because I don't know what this stuff does. He is going there. Why Why doesn't he go here? And him go down here. I wish I could pan this green around with the arrow keys. But I can't. I can zoom though. What do we find up here? Uh, we found some more. It looks like food. Oh, oh, oh I can look at them. Okay. Uh, food, herbs, we already read. Parts, various mechanical parts used for building and fixing complex devices. I got some relatively clean water. You'll need to prepare a good meal or make alcohol. Some electrical parts that will come in handy if we want to introduce advanced improvements to our shelter. Uh, and I already have, what, a bunch of wood? Oh, that's what I had. So I got wood and I got components. Okay, that seems like it's good. He's searching here. Let's see what he finds. Uh, parts, water, I mean, it all seems well and good. How do I get through here? Oh, is he actually going to break through this door? Uh, yes, you are going to break through this door. So go in here. And while you're searching that, let's send, um... Oh, what is this? Various mechanical part. Oh, wait, equipment. A lock pick. Single use, but opens things quickly and quietly. That's kind of nice. So, can you dig through here? Looks like it. it's going to take a while, but you can dig through there for sure. So, you can go over here and search this. You... Uh, we got food in the fridge. Can I store food in the fridge? You can go down here. What do we got here? Uh, just a bunch more parts and everything. Okay, let's exit. And he's still... <laughs> he's slowly digging through there. You can get up here it looks like that needs a lock pick which you can't get to you go start digging through that while something oh somebody needs to take out a lock pick first so when he's done why don't you go search here then since there's something there yeah when he's done with this dirt pile since that's obviously taking a while oh that's just to sit down in so what is this is this a crafting station whoa 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 you're like throwing things apart down there. Okay. So what's on this thing? Okay. Household items. What should I make? So obviously decent sleep without back pain no matter if it's night or day. It takes 30 components and 25 wood. Now is this shared amongst everybody? 
or shoot, I have no idea. A uh, simple heater. Oh, so it's gonna get cold in here probably. A crude stove. Simple as they get, just burn some fuel uh, made up of wood, books, or components, and get some water to cook meals. Excellent. A metal workshop allows us to make tools. That's good to know. This is a rainwater collector. A simple contraption to collect and filter rainwater needed for cooking and making alcohol. It might be wise to build a couple of them. Okay, so I'm going to need some rainwater collectors, it looks like. What is this? Homemade single-use filter to purify rainwater. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Oh, it costs three components. It costs six components. I have 30 and 25. Oh, so I can make a bunch of these things. What should I probably make? I want to make the stove, I think. I'm going to make this... Drag and place it somewhere. Probably in the kitchen, right? Yeah. Place. So he's going to go make that stove. It's 71 degrees outside. I don't need any heater. But the stove will cook the food, I'm assuming. He's making some work here. He's almost done down here. I wonder if multiple people can help do something at once. I have a feeling the answer is no. Oh, he's a lockpick in here as well, though. So can he use his lockpick over here? Wow, good job, buddy. Took you a long time, but there you go. Can you use your lockpick in here? It looks like it. So he got that built for the food, and now he's searching this. What's in the lockpick drawer? Some herbs and some books. Uh, can make them for fuel for the heater stove. Okay. And... We're lucky it's not cold in here. <laughs> you are correct, sir. Uh, should I really send him over toward this pile to dig? I have a feeling there's going to be piles of things later. Can we break open this door? Yeah, it's just going to take some a while. I don't know if I should be placing food in the fridge or what the deal is. So he got through there, but there's nothing in this room. Yeah, there's nothing in this room. So what if we go to the fridge? What happens? Oh, good. You got that, too. So you go over there. Oh, I can't... Is there any way to just look at my inventory? Uh, Food. There wasn't really much in there, but we got some stuff. So I guess I should send you over to this thing for now as well. So it does look like food. The inventory... Our things. Here we go. Okay, so everything is combined into one. Our shell. Okay, some thoughts. Here we go. Our shelter is one depressingly ugly ruin. We should do something about it. We only have one chair. We lack beds, and we have to sleep on the floor. It's hard to get a good night's sleep on hard, cold concrete, and the condition of those who are sick or wounded may drastically worsen. We don't have a radio. We don't know what's going on in the city. We really miss books. A good book could help us forget the horse of war. Staying here is slightly better than living on the street. We lack cigarettes. We have breaches in the walls and shelter is not safe and we have to con constantly be on guard. Okay, so basically what you're telling me is I need to get down to this thing. Weren't you going over here? Oh, the door's locked and you can't unlock the door. Um, okay, so you just get down here. And you, since you're done down here, you get over here. Uh, I want you to make a bed. And I guess we'll place the bed in this room down here. Uh, you can still go up here. You're going to go up and make something else. Maybe fixing this place? Can we do that easily? That I don't know. Do I have enough wood to do anything with? That I don't know either. You... Oh, whoops, whoops, whoops. Uh, workables, consumables, no. So how do I fix up the house? Let's exit that for now. Let's send you over into here. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, the door was locked, too, wasn't it? The door was locked. So he can't really do anything with that. Um, how do I fix up the holes in this house? How do I fix up the holes in this house? Um... Oh, it must be this button right there. The one next to the crafting thing. Okay. The lock's pretty simple. Should be able to open it, but I don't have any more lock picks. So, 
So he's got that done. So can you go through? Pavel, you were fine actually. So you go up here. The knight. Wait, what? Okay, sick guy. You're going to sick guy. Let's sleep in a bed. We're gonna have the slightly wounded guy sleep in a chair. Ooh, is this, this is dangerous. And you're gonna scavenge, I guess? And where do I wanna go? Ludo gas station, there's lots of food, huge amounts of materials, some meds, lots of weapons, lots of parts. One of the very first places people looked while fleeing the city. A lot of ruined villa. Lots of food, huge amounts of materials, lots of meds, huge amounts of weapons, huge amounts of parts. Quiet house, lots of food, lots of meds, lots of parts. How do I know what's dangerous? I think the ruined villa. The ruined villa looks like the place to be. Uh, I don't think I want to take anything with me. I don't have. I don't. I don't know what I would take with me right now. I don't have any like lockpicks or weapons or anything like that. So, oh wow, there's. Can be very dangerous. Deserters or not. Disciplined soldiers. Um, I can't use that stuff. Let's search this. Up. Is this guy gonna come after me? Are these guys bad? I'm gonna grab all. Walk over here. Let's look first. No, nobody's in there, so can I go inside? I don't have any idea if these people are bad. Nobody's down there, but let's go downstairs. There seem to be some good stuff to be able to scavenge pretty easily. Jesus. I can't take all. Because I literally don't have enough room to take all. Uh, I think I'd rather put some parts back. And take more wood. Uh, okay. There's so much stuff here. Is anything up this way? No. Let's open the door. Uh, I can't get in that way. So let's go up here. That I'm unsure if this is safe or not. And I've got a lot of stuff, but I was looking for meds. So let's open this door. Because the one dude's sick. What is this? Oh. I'm assuming that sounds. Whoa. Are they coming after me? Oh, what, what, what is this? Canned food. More interested in the raw meal you'll get used to its taste. Quality roll-ups for cigarettes. Parts versus, what are these? Components versus parts. Weapons parts and electric parts. I don't know what to take. I think I want the canned food. Um, and then maybe we'll get rid of that and we'll take the parts. Shoot, I have no idea. And I honestly don't know if I should be running toward the exit right now. Okay, they want to kill me. Good thing I hit that button and hid. Um, they're just like back there. What happens if I run through this house? If I come out of hiding, are they going to get me? Let's quickly get through this door. Let's get over to the fridge. Can I shut this door? Oh, God. Run to the exit! Run to the exit! Don't die already! Pavel died. Pavel's dead. I should have left. Poor Pavel. He got trapped in a house. I think the other guys will go out for revenge soon. Pavel died. Pavel was killed while looking for supplies on the first day. Pavel was killed. Um, are they sad? <laughs> Pavel's dead. Do, did they not know him enough to care? 
Um, so if he didn't get any supplies, I don't think there's anything I can do during the day, right? I mean, he's hungry, slightly sick, recovering, and sad. He slept poorly. He's slightly wounded. Um, I think I need to cook some food. I got a stove, right? Let's go cook each of these guys some food. And then I guess I got to go for the scavenge again. Fuel. Uh, I have zero. What is this? A simple cooked meal. And this is a simple cooked meal, more nutritious. So uh, is this two meals? I don't have the food for that, though. I need to... So I don't have the food for this one. It looks like it needs another form of food. Um, four of 14, or one of one, I can make books. I'm going to make four of these, or three of those, I guess. Make... Because I want to make two meals... Let's get him up here. He's going to get ready to eat. And then you also need to make... Oh, no, no. I want you to make that. There we go. I was like, what's happening here? Um, so let's make the one. And then we'll make two meals real quick. You should... Oh, that's an improvement on that. You should look at improving the house, though. Um, no, no, no. Go improve the house. You. Now you should be able to make two of these, right? Yes, there we go. So make two foods so both of you guys can eat. Since you're hungry. And you're going to go down here. And it's going to cost... Ah, I just used 14. I only have two components. I just used everything, so... We will, um, Marco, you slept last night, so you need to get upstairs and eat one of these. And Bruno's going to sleep this time, and Marco's going to go out scavenging. I'm not sure what else I can do. So Bruno's going to sleep. And Marco, you're going to go this way. Oh, you slept poorly. No, Marco, you need to go to sleep, actually. Bruno, you need to stay up here. Can you do anything outside? Uh. I guess not. You just need to go... There you go. You get down there to the floor. I guess double-clicking makes him run, which is good. Um, Bruno's going to be the one that goes out because he's... He didn't sleep poorly. Okay, and let's end the day. And let's go to... Oh, shelled school. Lots of meds, lots of parts. Huge amounts of materials and some food. Supermarket. Let's go to the shelled school. You don't need anything either. Just let's hope that nobody's there to kill me at the shelled school. Okay, so let's go check it out and see what's inside. This place might be empty. Oh, nope, there's definitely somebody upstairs. I'll take all those. Is he coming downstairs? I'll keep an eye on it. Uh, materials, we'll just take those. I'm afraid to go up there because of that guy. Nobody's up here, though. So let's just go through here. Let's go on this main floor. Oh, I can't. Okay, so let's just quietly get upstairs. Two. Is this guy going to see me when I do this? Oh, wait. 
There's nobody up there. Is it just like an old creaky house? Oh, whoa, 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 I should've, oh, I should've looked. That was scary, oh, come on. That was gonna take forever. Come back to this later. Go down here, what was down here? Oh, there's a dirt thing here too! There's double dirt that way, okay, let's get, let's get upstairs. Let's get this. This is gonna take some time to get through here. Almost through. Almost through. Okay. Let's go see what this is. Is this a person? I hope not. Uh, that's a lot of stuff. Let's grab all. Let's see if I can get through this door. Okay, this door I can get through. So there's a couple. It's gonna kind of fill up my inventory. Close, close. Let's see what's in here. Can I jump down here? I wonder. Ooh, sounds bad. Whoa! I got extra inventory spots. I didn't even notice. He's got 15 spots. Oh, you can jump down there. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't keep running. Keep searching. That looks dangerous. It looks all... I can't take all. What do I want to take? Uh, let's take two... Let's take more parts. Here, we'll do that. And we'll go exit, and then we'll just... I'm going to take a look through here real quick. If there's nothing in this room, we'll just take a run to the exit and see which path he goes. Oh, I took a look already, so open it up. Uh, I'm just curious what's in here. Wow! Too bad I don't have room for it. Okay, let's just run to the exit. Oh, he's going to climb back up top. Okay. Let's still get home for some time to, uh, to get some sleep. Marco is back. He did bring a lot of stuff. We've been raided! 